All right. Uh, let's see here real quick. I got a. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on crimping, and I'm gonna first. I guess this is part one of crimping. Uh, Matco tools, CT8000A crimping tool. Uh, we'll discuss this and how this works. But when it comes to crimping, no one tool is the greatest tool. And uh, to be honest with you, before you get to the crimping, you should really be considering soldering. And I know there's a lot of guys, well, crimping is faster. Or some Sometimes it's hard to solder in certain positions. It's also hard to crimp in certain positions. Uh, you know, everybody, you know, you got the, the, the guys that crimp. You know, it's fast, quick, gets the job done. Yes, it gets the job done when done correctly. This is why we're showing these pliers. Uh, of course, you know, everybody else makes them right, not just Matco. But uh, this is a key to a good long life on a crimp. On a, on a when you crimp a, a, a line and I will discuss a little bit more of that in my second video I'm gonna try to do a real nice video or in depth with my opinion and my experiences uh, on crimping versus soldering versus knowing when to call it a harness and quit repairing upon a repair after a repair um, so we're gonna have that video coming here soon I need to really uh, spend my time. I usually do quick videos because I'm not good at editing. It takes me a long time. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, longer than normal video for me on crimping. And we'll show different tools and we'll talk about different things. So stay tuned. Uh, this is part one of crimping. Part two is on the way. Don't know when I'm going to do it because as you can tell I'm on the road. Uh, so as soon as I get a chance to sit down and do a video... Uh, I'm going to do it, so keep watching. Thanks.